Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. I'm here with another video for Angular Material series and in this video we will use first component from Angular Material. What I would like to mention is that just recently I published my new official website. So there you can go, make sure to sign up to this newsletter so you could be, uh, get 77% off on all of my Udemy courses. And on my, well, official website you will be able to search through my tutorials, well, those would be uh, YouTube videos, and also all of the courses that you can see from me, well, those are on Udemy and Skillshare. So just make sure to go through those and there you will be able to get just uh, some nice price. But now, let's start with this video. On official Angular Material website, in their own documentation, you will find, well, many different components that you will be able to use with Angular Material. One such component is a slider component that we will use in this video. That component will at the end uh, render this kind of a slider for us, which we will be able to, well, use and also get data from it. Next to this overview, you can see the whole API for that slider as a component and also different examples that you can use. But now what we are interested in is getting that component into our project. So to do that, go into your source, source folder, app, and then open up your app module TypeScript file. Each component that you plan to use from Angular Material, you first of all must import that component. So for example, if you plan to use your material component in your feature module, you can import it there. But for us, we won't hold such a module, so we will import all of our components in this app module.typescript file, which is a main file for our Angular application. So as I wish to use that material slider component, just here at the top, I will first of all put the comment of components, so we could have the whole list of components just next to it. And here I will import my mat, which stands for material, slider, module. Each component from Angular Material will have its own module. And same goes for this uh, slider component as well. And I will import this module from at angular slash material slash slider. So now we successfully imported our component from its own package into our application. If you wish to use it, you will also need to pass it in your imports array. So just down below, after our browser animations, I will also add my mat slider module in this array. So with this now, we can simply just use our component. So for that, I will go into app component HTML file. And as you already know, we already have this default code from Angular. So I will grab entire code and just remove it because it is not important for us here. So the component that I wish to use here is called mat slider, well, material slider. And such component from material will also accept different attributes. For example, we can pass minimum and maximum values for our slider. So min and max here. So for example, for my min, I will set one percentage. And for my max, I will set 100. Next to that, this slider component will work only as an input field that we usually have in HTML. So it can also hold the value in it. So here I will pass value of 50. So with this value of 50, our math slider should already be, well, that dot on a slider itself should all already be in the center of our slider because the 50 itself is just the half from 100. And I will pass another attribute here called step which will specify the step when I drag my slider. So how big that step should be. And I will set only one, which means that we will move value one by one. So 50, 51, 52, and so on and so on. Save this now and let's check our browser. In your local host 4200, you should see such slider here. One thing just to mention, if you have any errors by compiling this code, just make sure to restart your local host. And everything should work correctly. As we can see for this slider itself, it already has pre-built design, which is material design. And it already has this pink color, which comes from our indigo pink team that we selected by creation, well, by adding this Angular material into our Angular project. 
Also, we can see that that big dot in our slider is just in the middle of our slider because the value is set to 50 out of 100. And obviously, we are able to interact with this slider. You will see some uh, nice movement and also some nice animation when you click, well, focus and out focus from that dot, which are those browser animations that we also installed. I will now quickly go back into documentation for this slider itself. And in the documentation, you will see similar, well, similar attributes that we already used in our matte slider. And you will see all of other options that this matte slider will support. You can even interact with it with your keyboard, not just mouse. Next to that, you will see the whole API of it, which means that how can you use this matte slider, which we just did, in different specific properties to this matte slider that you can use. For example, our min property that we already use, which is the type of a number, and it presents the minimum value that the slider can have. Also, there is an interesting property of inward here, which is a boolean, which specifies whether the slider in is inverted. In our case, our dot won't be pink, but grayish. And so on and so on. You can see that the API and the whole documentation for this slider is quite big. Also, here in the same documentation, you will be able to see different uh, methods, well, different events that you can use on your slider, like blur event and focus event. So when we focus our slider to drag it left and right, and when we blur away from our slider. You can also find these specific classes that you can use from this API into this slider. So you can basically customize your slider as you wish and get the specific behavior from it. And next to this API, as I already mentioned, you will have the entire example for those slider. You can go through this documentation and just check this slider. But later in this series, we will come back to this matte slider component and we will take a deeper look into it. So as you are already watching this component video, make sure to take a look into my entire Angular Material series. In this series, you will learn how to use Angular Material with your Angular projects, how to use every component and CDK from Angular. If you didn't know, CDK stands for Component Dev Kit. But this will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting a new video weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.